Hey, what's up, everybody? How's it going? This is Chris, aka Fossey Play. And we're still inside Muspelheim. And you know what I thought to myself? Um, so I need to do the last um, the last trial here, the hard trial. And then I think we did four. Four out of six, right? So after this, I will travel back to Midgard um, to do some other favors because I don't want to do um, this stuff for like three to four, to four sessions straight. It could be a bit boring. But we will come back later to it to finish the other two. I will promise you that. But let's first give it a go with a hard one here. Don't let enemies capture Atreus. Okay. Prepare yourself, boy. Yes, sir. Uh, out with you. Okay. They, uh, the enemies, the, the big ones, they go straight to uh, Atreus, which is a bit, uh, a bit annoying. Safe for now. Wave completed. Stay focused. Yes. Uh, he's there. Okay. Got him. Okay, he's gone. I think we got it. Oh! There's another one here. Fuck off, man. Okay. Oh, God. Ah. 
Alright. Alright, this was surprisingly easy. If you went uh, straight to the, the big ones. Okay, so I want to um, collect this thing, of course. And then I will go back to Midgard for another favor. Because this is getting quite boring if you do this, uh, if you do this straight for like uh, three or four hours or so. So we'll come back to it later. Mm, there should be another gate around here, right? Ooh. There goes my arm here. Arm here. I hope there's another gate here. Otherwise, we need to track back. Uh, yeah, there it is here. Okay, wait a minute. Um, I want to do the favor for one here. Help Brock to find his dead friend Anvar and what? Andvari. Meet Brock at the land soother mines. Yes. We will come back later to, to Muspelheim. No, no. Wait. Ah, oh, of course. I need to go to this. Uh, I think we will see each other there. Odin, the Lord of the Hang. That refers to a modest example of Odin's thirst for knowledge. The time he spent nine days a dead man. Aye, hung himself by the neck from Yggdrasil's branches, put his spear through his own side, and bled down into the Well of Destiny. He roamed the realms of the dead and plundered the world tree of its secrets, until I think quite rightly it got fed up with him and sent him back to the land of the living. But the serpent's already been there and seen it. So hasn't he already done? Fate's a tricky thing, lad. And Odin's just arrogant enough to think he can get the best of it. Fate is another lie told by the gods. Nothing is written that cannot be unwritten. On that, brother, you and the old father may just agree. Even if he can't prevent Ragnarok, he still hopes to learn enough details to influence the outcome. Remind me later to tell you about the wolves. All right, laddies. Mimir, why do you have Bifrost crystals in your eyes? A loving gift from the giants. Since I used to do so much traveling between realms, they thought it would be more convenient for me than having a crystal I could lose. <laughs> Did it hurt? No, because I wisely fortified myself with 16 cups of Billow Maiden's Ale. Got so inebriated, I tried convincing the giants to put them in my nipples instead. <laughs> <laughs> Almost talked them into it, too. Can you imagine? Mimir of the Bifrost Teats. <laughs> ah, those were the days. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll stop now. Okay, Mimir's Tales. When the giants trusted someone enough to help them travel the realms, they put Bifrost crystals in their eyes. Tura had them, and so does Mimir. Uh, one thing I did, I bought a new armor. This one, Blazing Magma Pauldrons. And I upgraded it. I can still upgrade it again. Uh, it will rise up to level 8, but I need a hell of uh, of these uh, smoldering embers kind of uh, ingredients that we are getting in Muspelheim. But these are really cool. So, um, now we need to go to the land sooner mines, but we are nearly there, so I need to just grab my boat. Just grab my boat. And then we are. We need to go here in this nook. Oh, there's another of these. Uh, whatever these are, these drops. Defense. 
That's one. So Odin gouged out his own eye. Because of mushrooms you gave him? Aye. I used to think he never caught on. But the day he took my eye, I realized he had never been fooled. He knew I'd outwitted him, called the lesson wisdom, and hired me to make sure from then on I was on his side. And for a long, long time I truly was. Doesn't mean he didn't hold a grudge. Okay, so... Need to dock somewhere. And then figure out the shit. It's a, it's a nice uh, change of scenery right now. Not always to be in Muspelheim. Okay. Ah, here. Cool. And Suter Mines, yeah. Check this, okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't think we have to fight another ancient, right? Because we did find find all of them, I think. So I wonder what the end boss in this little chapter could be. Another Mystic Gateway. Brock is here. Well, nice. Well, looky who decided to show. Hello. Talk to this here ring. Uh, what? I can't hear thoughts from rings, Brock. It's talking to me. It's in Bari. Ha! Knew it. He says he went to the Vellander Mines to observe his mistake, but then the Soul Eater attacked. So, as he was being ripped apart, he cast a spell that removed his soul and put in this ring. And then he... What about all his stuff? Uh, huh? Anvari had a workshop here with all sorts of posh doodads and ornatory tools. And one beaut of a hammer. He make mention of it still in there? Uh, you're upsetting him. <laughs> Your point? You fellas take on Vari with you and go have a look-see. If you find his hammer, I'll whip up something real nice for you. Alright. Music in Kratos ears. Hey now, don't go forgetting your entry stone. Way to go, man. Alright, so... There is a raven. There was a raven. Okay. Let's move in deeper then. Entry stone here. And Vari isn't happy about us taking the stuff. I do not care. Uh. I'm not gonna tell him that. Do <laughs> need help? Nope. Oh, tetzel worms. Annoying little piece of shit, man. Whoa. That didn't work out. So I generally oh, oh man Good show. I think in the long run these blades do uh, deal more damage than the axe 
So the axe, of course, um, favors strength and all. But the burn damage, um, if you have enough enchantments with it to increase it, what the fuck? Um, I mean, in the long run, you will deal a lot of more damage, I think. Maybe not a lot, but more. Invari says this dwarf was part of his crew, that he died because of his mistakes. He sounds sad. The ring's grief is of little importance, boy. Huh. Looky. Oh come on, you can you can hit that, right? Dude. What is your problem? It's a bit silly. A bit silly. Oh, he did not like that. He's warning us not to go down there. Yeah. Stop listening to the ring boy. Cannot be trusted. So there is something here. Um, how do I access it? How do I access it? Um, oh. What? Oh, come on! Uta, Uta. Labor complete. Nice. Watch your left. Alright, um, yeah, what was I saying? Okay, look at this here, man. Need to go up there, but... Does he do it? How does he do it? Um, so I think this one is the way to go down. Um, where we need to go. Let me figure this out for a sec. Hmm, I don't think I can... I can access it now, so let's go back down. Go down here. Very ominous here right now. But another thing here, right? Mm. Be ready. Oh, come on. Fucking piece of shit, man. Silence that ring, boy. I don't know how. Okay, uh, well, there's something else. Look at this. Silence. Okay. Some more items. I don't need these uh, ingredients anymore, I think. I don't know, but uh, I don't think we need them. Mm, yeah, then. What is this? I wonder where we need to go. Is this the, the way to go or do we have to go that way here? I think. Let's just check it. Ah, okay. It brings us back up again. Ah, very good. Look here. Yes, sir. It's another one of those maps. 
Oh to show journal. Uh, I've lived to serve the God of Thunder and I bury my greatest treasure right where all inhabitants of Midgard should dwell at the feet of the God of God of Gods. I am the God of Gods. Uh, all right. This. Okay. A soul eater. And a traveler. Guard up. Wait, a soul eater? Where where's ah there. Yeah, but I thought I killed all of the ancients. Or not? Uh so yeah, this is a bit tricky. Um Okay, for the ancient, I think I need my axe. Come on, wake up! A dead soul eater. Oh, he's dead. What's a soul eater even doing here? What do you mean it's your fault? Boy, ignore him. It's sort of tough for me to ignore. Um. Okay. Uh. Where to go? Where to go? Uh. This way. Wait a minute. There is a treasure. Ah. Fuck. Go here. I think. Wait a minute. I need to go. I need to access this bit, but I think. Manage this. Yeah. Dude! Dude! Get my blade, man! How do I get down here? Alright. He says this chest will trigger a bunch of traps. Ah, uh, I don't care. Oh, I see no traps. Out of the element, status effects. So sure about it. Okay. 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 So let's get back. bit uh, like a labyrinth here. I mean, there are different uh, way, ways to go, man. I will check this this bit first. Okay, okay. Never mind that. Then we are on the right track. Check this bit here. Uh, the river pass. Uh. 
one sec, guys. All right. Uh, what is here? I can wait. Ah, a treasure chest. Good to know, good to know. Very cool. So, what do we have here? There's the raven here. Raven. Good. Mm. So we can go down here, but we don't want to do this. We want to go up. Mario says his workshop is up there. But I know, I know. Don't trust the talking ring. Um. Ah. Yikes, uh, I cannot see anything. Boss fight, but no biggie. No biggie. New entry added. Dark Elf Lord. Bigger, faster, and stronger than any Dark Elf you fought so far. Their attacks are so strong they can blind and de deafen us for a bit. They fight a lot like regular Dark Elves, just way harder. I mean, yeah. Boy. Father, please, just listen. Invari's crew did something bad here. He's glad you destroyed his life, and he's sorry you kept trying to trick us. His hammer is just through this gate. Um, okay, so basically I have to go up here. Oh. Aegis Protection Epic Talisman. Two in menu. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Come on then. Boy. Yes, sir. Another map. Wonder who wrote this. Let's see, uh the soul eaters. Removing an ancient soul and domesticating it as a beast of burden was surprisingly easy. They followed my every command and appeared to possess no free will, sense of self-preservation or even hunger. Well, not until it turned poor lit into ashes. Not even his soul remained. A lack of their own must be what drives them to immolate the souls of others. My soul eaters are an abomination. Several were sent to Muspelheim at the request of Sutra. What he will use them for, I shudder to consider. Another to Motsoknir at Kononsgard. That fool can burn for all I care. 
My immediate concern is the dwarves of the Valinda mines. I pray I'm not too late to undo my mistake. Ah, so he built them. Hmm. This is a fine hammer. Okay, cool. Invari says thank you. So th he he built the uh, the soul eaters. Okay, okay. Interesting. So we know a bit more now. I mean, this is a side quest. Uh, I get it, but we keep him? I mean, the soul eaters. We will talk to the blue one. Are a constant enemy. Focus up, boy. During our journeys, and now we know where they come from. I think it's uh, it's cool. It's cool to know. It's good lore. It's good lore. To know this. So I like that these side quests have uh, lore, lore to it. All right. I think I got everything right. Well, there was something, something here. Um, can I just drop down? How do I access this little bit? I wonder. Oh, I can just go here. Okay. Okay, let's get this here and be on our way. Right on. Let's get back to Brock. So I don't need anything here. Let's just get back. Hey, Brock. You two here. The alchemist hammer. His spirit is a nuisance. Yeah, Anvari always was an asshole. Hell of an alchemist, though. Hand him over here, and I'll melt him down. What? You're going to melt down your friend? A trapped soul's what I need to give your reward some extra oomph. You don't want it? Father, we can't do that. Here, you hold on to him. He's really useful, I promise. Fine. So long as he proves his worth. And Vari's soul. Very high perk activation chance to grant it's a health a burst a softy, on yeah. any successful runic well, attack kill. Mm. Okay. But I got better ones. Unfortunately, I mean... Let's see this thing here. Very soul. Um, it is a level six, however, and has nice stats: runic vitality and cooldown. Mm. I mean, I do kill a lot of people with runic attacks, though. Uh, so this could come in handy. But you know what? Ah. I mean, I could. Uh, also very good. Whatever. Anyway, guys. Oh, I can just read something and vary. And Wari wasn't very helpful at first, but something about seeing the dead soul eater in the land pseudo mines made him realize he was being kind of a jerk. I think he feels guilty because he and some other dwarves were experimenting with ancients there, and they accidentally created soul eaters. Glad we didn't have to fight anymore. Anyway, his soul is still trapped in a ring. Brock wanted to melt him down. He can be so mean sometimes. But I convinced father to keep him, and now he's part of our group. Father even uses Anvari's soul as an enchantment sometimes. Must be hard being trapped in a piece of jewelry, but Anvari doesn't complain too much. I've gotten pretty good at ignoring him. Ah, so the ancients um, are not an abomination, but the soul eaters are, okay. Soul eaters are, are um, modified ancients, so to speak. Okay, anyway guys, uh, that's it for now. I think in the next session we will... Let's see, what would we do? Um, I think in the next session we will do this one here. Retrieve the whetstone, the favor for Sindri, and after that we will go back to to uh, the realm of fire to Muspelheim and do the remaining trials. Only two more should be relatively easy. And yeah, then let's see what it what brings, man. We need to um, tackle the Valkyries as well, so don't forget to do this. But we will see in the future. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it, hope you have a great day and take care.